Hi, my name is Dr. Mullen. I was just throwing a question that we probably ought to address here, and, and what it was is my hair is falling out, right? Okay, so let's tackle that for a second here, and let's just get you an idea as to exactly what, what you can do and what everyone can do, this is probably something that if I was a hairdresser, I'd be promoting along, you know, along with cutting everyone's hair, because you're, you know, you're seeing it all the time. People have very thin hair; they're very malnutrient. So let's take a look at this. When when your hair is an, is really protein, and it, it requires protein to grow hair. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is number one is you need to increase your protein in your diet. I better write that over because I have a hard time writing fast. I write real quick so no one can read my writing. So I better write it up a little bit slower. So the first thing is you need to increase protein into your system. Extremely important. The problem that we have as Americans is that our enzyme levels are so dead, so flat, that even when we do consume things, we find out that it's not even absorbed or utilized in our body and it's just passed out the backside, primarily because there's not enough enzymes there to be able to break it up and, and break protein into amino acids and thus be able to be utilized inside the body. So you may find a good supplement to help you in that area, but the bottom line is you need to put more protein in your diet, whether you're doing it via some sort of drink or a shake or you're eating more, you know, more protein oriented foods such as, uh, you know, eggs or such as, you know, meats or fish or whatever the case may be, but make sure that you increase the protein in your diet. Number two is it's extremely important to have the appropriate fats. Now fat, Although it's kind of gotten this black eye, you know, for so many years, it's been 20, 30 years, everyone's kind of gone, oh, you know, I don't want to have, I'm going to have low fat this, no fat this, low fat that. Fats are very necessary. In fact, almost 50% of your cell, the makeup of your cell wall is fats. And that's because there are certain nutrients that require what is called a fat soluble wall to be able to penetrate and go in to be utilized inside the cell. So if you don't have fats in your system, all of a sudden, every cell in your body becomes affected. It really does. You know, there was, a, a, we had another doctor working in our office and, and he, he went to do something with this older patient. She was about 84-ish. And he, he was helping her up just off of a table, helping her up like this. And he actually grabbed onto her kind of above her wrist. He was just helping her lift her up. And he moved his hand and it's as if her skin had come off in, in, in his hand. And it's basically fats. There was not a lot of tissue there and that created a problem. So I'm going to highly recommend the fact that you need to put more fats into your diet along with the proteins, appropriate fats. Uh, when I say appropriate fats, primarily it's omega-3s, Y3s because they're harder to get a hold of, omega-6s you get from processed food, omega-9s you get from oils uh, such as olive oil and different things like that are more readily available. Omega-3s, not a lot of sources there. So a lot of us have a tendency to, to need to supplement those, whether it's a krill oil or a straight fish oil or whether it is a flaxseed oil. Um, problem is if you get something that's not real high quality, you're going to be stuck in a situation where you're having to consume so much that you're going to get sick of it and you're not going to do it. So the bottom line is get what you need, get high quality stuff to be able to do it, get the appropriate proteins along with it. Lastly, it's extremely important to get vitamins and minerals. Get those into your system. Be absorbing them, be taking them on a daily basis. I tell my patients, don't buy anything unless it has enzymes associated with it. So take a look at that multivitamin you're taking. Go down there, you're looking for things that end with an E-A-S-E. -E. Whatever it is, you want that E-A-S-E -E part, or at least, let's pull that off because there's some of them that I'm just kind of running this through my head that are just A-S-E, but you want ACEs, you want enzymes that have the ability to break up foods, break up vitamins, break up minerals, utilize them inside the body. Doing that, the odds of your hair falling out 
except for maybe some sort of genetic issue that anyone could have going on. But health-wise, this is the way you can minimize that and give you real thick, healthy hair. So if I was a hairstylist, this is advice I would be giving every single one of my patients, or every single one of my, what do they call them, patrons, I guess is a good way to put that. But um, there's good and there's bad. You need to find a good one. I've listed under here, down at the bottom here, you can see that there, there's a company here that I highly recommend that has just exactly what you're looking for. Again, I'm Dr. Melana, thank you very much.